Hi guys, Todd here and TJ uh, who's just popping in to say hello for a sec uh, Right, today we have No, 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 no We have something all the way from Poland uh, Now, this is the Magnetic Dragon and uh, do you know, I, I, the person that makes it, the manufacturer, will be up in the corner and the site where you can go, or the Facebook page where you can get it, will be up in the corner. Both links will also be in the description of the YouTube video because my pronunciation is shockingly bad when it comes to other languages. I can only apologise for that. Uh, but it's uh, on Facebook, you'd be looking for Vapors Island uh, hash EU should get you to them. Um, but uh, they were the company that sent it on to me from Poland. Now, what they sent me was this. This is an Origin dripper with a drip tip from Schmo Vapes on there. And uh, they sent me this and they also sent me two tubes as well, an 18500 and an 18650 tube. Now it's called the Magnetic Dragon and Magnetic Dragon. It's because it's got a magnetic switch. Uh, sorry, I just drew a blank there. Um, right, I'll have a little vape on this. Now, it's quite a funky wee bit of gear this, it's not, I, I'll, I'll be perfectly honest, when you're looking at it, it's, it really is, it's a stainless steel tube with some engravings on it and a magnetic switch. Whether or not you like the engravings is personal, I quite like them myself. Um, but the thing about this one is, is is the way it performs and the switch itself. It's got a lovely switch, uh, a really nice switch, but we'll come back to all that in the close-ups where you can watch me losing the magnets in the switch. Uh, just a few details here. 20 by 1 threading. Yeah! Um, so, you know, with things like the... Well, what have I got here? I've got the, the Hit It LE. BD, totally interchangeable with this, the top cap and bottom cap, or if you have any drippers or anything like that, that they are 20 by 1 threading, they'll screw straight onto these tubes. Uh, diameter 22mm, and right, lengths, 18350 is 61mm, 18650 as long as it's 92mm and 18490 I can't see because the camera's in the way. 77mm. Um, so 18577mm. So uh, it's 304 grade stainless steel. It's got brass and uh, the contacts. Is it brass? Yeah, it's brass. And uh, price wise, it's 175 US dollars for the full set. So that's, you know, all three tubes, top cap and a switch. Uh, there will be a boxed version with spares coming, and that's going to be 200 US dollars, and that'll be available from January. And also in January, they will have softer magnets. Um, personally, I think the magnets, as the way they are just now, are perfect. They're just nice solid feel to them uh, but some people might like it a bit lighter than that uh, right I'll have one last vape and then we'll go and have some close-ups actually what I might do just since it's all set up and together is I don't know if this will work. I'll, I'll try it anyway. Um, one. So, just doing a quick voltage drop test um, using a 0.7 ohm coil and a 1.5 ohm coil. 
on the 1.5 ohm coil I was getting 0.2 of a voltage drop however on a 0.7 ohm coil it dropped down to 0.45 so there you go I must admit the way I'm vaping it I'm not noticing any great loss of voltage or anything like that that is quite an impressive wee performer actually a lot of that could be due it's an AW IMR, it's a bloody old one uh, I hate doing those voltage drop tests, I really do but anyway, there you go, let's go for a close up so here we go, this is everything that uh, arrived with me uh, like I said, just to clarify again, it's 304 grade stainless steel and uh, we've got the uh, laser engraving going on uh, on the switch, the top cap and the tube and there's more engraving on the other side that I'll show you in a second. The button's magnetic, 305 connect, uh, 305, 510 connection, and just to confirm the lengths, in 18350 is 61 millimeter, 77 millimeter, and 92 millimeter. So that's it. And once again, you've got brass for the contacts here. So take this out of the way just now and I'll just I'll show you this tube. See if I can get you in at that engraving there. It does have like a brushed finish to it. So that's laser engraved. And you've also got magnetic dragon on the back there as well. And that's the, the logo of the maker which is, is it so Soar's Mods, I think it might be, oh, my pronunciation, anyway, and like I said, it's 20 by 1 threading, threading's lovely, yeah, I can't fault it at all, yep, tubes are well made, uh, I don't have any issues with that at all, right, so, top cap, there you go, you can see the laser engraving there again, now I've been screwing at his on and off of this for the past few days and it doesn't seem to be scratching up this too bad at all. I, I really thought when I saw this that this engraving would just get badly damaged. It may do over months of use uh, but so far, you know, and I've been chopping and changing at his a lot, it doesn't seem too bad. Uh, we have a Delrin insulator and then we have this big chunky pin you just turn the wheel and you know you can adjust the the height of your 510 pin there once you've got that set you have this adjustment for the battery rattle and this all works really well and it's flat so there's no airflow going into here so this is pretty much for Jenny's and uh, anything that can get its own air supply There's the Mod Makers logo again, and this is serial number 50. Um, and we have reverse threaded locking ring here, which is really nice. Lovely action to it. No qualms or issues with that at all. Um, right, uh, let's find a screwdriver of some description. There we go, we've got a brass pin there. And this is where the fun starts. Out she comes. And there we go. Ah, that's a nice one. So there's a, a magnet in here. You can see the magnet, the center magnet there. And there's obviously a magnet around the base here as well. I can just push that in and I can feel the resistance there. It is quite, it's verging on the stiff side. Um, but I, I like it. I personally, I like the, the, the feel of the switch. Uh, quite enjoying vaping with this. So 
So there we go, there's a switch. Um, we'll take the 18650 tube and we'll screw this on like so. You can hear there, threads are spot on. Remember, 20 by 1, so you can interchange with other 20 by 1 threading. And there's, you know, lock and ring works a treat. Right, we'll get a battery. Take this, pop it in. And as usual with these things, you know, you want to screw on your atty first. Once you've got that on there, screw the pin in until it's making contact. That's that. Then I'm just going to sort the adjuster here. Bit of a rattle there. Take it out a bit more. That'll do me. So, that's us, the Magnetic Dragon, all together. Right, now, this works out at uh, about £106, and that's with all three tubes, which I think is a pretty good buy. Uh, I quite like that. Of course, it'll be kit compatible. Um, it... Right, I'll put this, it's, it's really honestly for me, it's getting to a point now where all these mods are, are starting to meld into one. Um, and it can't be easy for these mod makers to come out for, you know, unique selling points, unique selling features, things like that. I would describe this as a solid mod. Uh, as in, fires every time, it's got a good weight to it great threading, built very well, uh, the switch is really nice with the magnets in it and you know the 20 by 1 threading is another plus point. I quite like the engraving on it. Um, it's not, do you know it's not too leery? It, uh, it's just, it's just kind of subtle actually, in my opinion, uh, but it vapes really well. No complaints with it on that front. Um, that's really it. I, I'm not going to. Uh, I mean, I can't kid you on. I can't. I mean, there comes a point where you know you, you just have to stick to the facts, and I'm sticking to the facts in this one. Built well, good threads, uh, three tubes, um, magnetic switch, reverse locking ring. Um, it's just is what it is. And I like it. Um, and for £106, if you were looking for a mod with all three tubes, it's not shabby. It's not bad at all. I, I would be, if I got this at Christmas time, I would be well chuffed with it because it's just good. It is. It's a very good mod. Right, it's S O H E R S mods. Sohurst? Sohurst mods? Uh, uh, I think you can also get this with a brass button at the bottom as well and a brass ring. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can get that as well. Um, so I would check and see in that. All in, I mean, do you know, I, I've never had a mod from Poland that just hasn't done what it says on the tin. Uh, they're just solid little bits of gear and, uh, you know, they get you from A to B and they work great. I'd like to thank the guys at uh, Vapors Island. Um, excuse me. Yes, Vapors Island hash EU will be up in the corner uh, for sending this on to me for review. I'm very impressed with this, and I don't think anybody would be disappointed with this gear at all. Um, and you know, ten out of ten to Sohers Mods for coming up something as nice as this, guys. Thank you for listening to the rambling as always and uh, we will catch up with you soon. Cheers now. Bye.